Now, the question here is morality. Uh, and morality, in an objective way, is in question. Uh, you, PS for staff, were questioning, or actually were pro uh, enforcing a moral code upon people. And, uh, Moleta? Moloco? Moloco is kind of saying it can't be imposed. Now, right off the bat, I'm just going to try to go into this because I just made a full 10 minute video and I didn't really get out everything. And I'm going to stop right now and go. Uh, Thelema is one of the things I spoke about. Uh, I'm a theosophist, really quickly, that believes all religions can coexist and they have something to bring to the table and they should bring everything to the table and say, listen, what's going on here? But anyways, I mentioned Thelema. I'm not a Thelemite. Uh, Thelema was the brainchild of Aleister Crowley, I'm sure a lot of people, oh, evil, Satan, demons, and whatnot, it doesn't matter. Uh, ultimately, what he said, do what you, or, love is the law, love under will, do what you will is the whole of the law, there is no law above do what you will. Now, that sounds pretty chaotic, uh, like, you know, just do what the hell you want, you know what I mean? Right now, if you look at things, uh, the most universal and well-accepted moral code uh, would be basically the Ten Commandments or, you know, from a Christian point of view, I'm sure Islam has a slightly different view, if not it may be even the same, they just kind of disagree with the way Christians go about it, but either way, um, ultimately, if you want to think of it in a scientific sense, uh, those Ten Commandments came about from this whole do what you will shall be the whole of the law. Because uh, you being an atheist, uh, you be well, you don't believe that these Ten Commandments were given to Abraham, or sorry, Moses, Abraham. Uh, these Ten Commandments were given to him by some deity, some god. Uh, so in essence then, they came from him. They came from his thoughts and his, you know, general will to good. So, ultimately then, that probably embodies uh, an ideal moral code. Uh, whereas this whole do what you will kind of almost seems chaotic but the thing is you have to think about it it's not a mandate to do whatever the hell you want it's do what you will and the whole idea of that is to figure out what your true will is and, and what it means by that is that whole well going back to the beginning before evolution before all of that mentioned stuff about this in my other video, you called me a fool, I don't know why, it doesn't matter. Um, basically, you know, you have these objective rules in physics, like it's a complete mathematical equation, and they are unequivocal in the way they play themselves out, uh, given these circumstances, these direct results will happen as a result, and that's that. So, what's happened is evolution, and now we've got these biological organisms roaming the earth with these thoughts in their heads, and we seem to think that these thoughts are um, isolated from this subjective reality, and that, you know, they belong to us, and, you know, in a sense they do, because we belong to whatever it is that's created all of this, and we are, this kind of sounds like Hootenanny, we are a part of God, therefore we are common rulers with God, thus I agree with the atheistic point of view of believing in self, because ultimately, if you don't want to go too deep or too shallow into things, that's the perfect way to stay, it's the flat level. I was once agnostic at a time until I actually fully explored this kind of stuff, just so you know. Um, and it really just kind of opened my eyes to think about it. Now, the whole aspect of this true will generally means for one to figure out what it is that your physiology naturally is inclined to do without any kind of outside you know what I mean, without all these other egos being influenced, because as it stands, you've got your next door neighbor who's been influenced by somebody, who's been influenced by somebody, who's been influenced by somebody, and you know what I mean? Like, 
they're not acting as per their true will, they're acting as per, you know, how this person wants me to act, or how that person wants me to act, or how I feel influenced by those people. Uh, the idea is to break free of that kind of slave mentality and figure out for yourself who you're meant to be, what you're meant to do, and I could give a crap what anybody else thinks. You know what I mean? Uh, I mean, it's not meant for you to go off and say, you know what, I feel like I'm going to punch this guy in the face just because I can. You know what I mean? But if that's what you feel, go ahead and do it. But I mean, if you in your mind legitimately think, well, that's not right, then don't do it, right? Um, or, you know, if you question yourself or whatever, it, the whole point is not even to listen to me, listen to you. So that's that whole aspect of, you know, morality being subjective. And it shouldn't be influenced by the outside world. But unfortunately, the outside world does use it. And there, unfortunately as well, has been a constant upper class ruling over that whole, using that morality to their advantage. I mean, can you imagine being the first few people to think of this kind of stuff and you're at extreme advantage over people. I mean, people look to you for advice and wisdom and you can definitely take advantage of that. So now you've got people that are, you know, it's a classist society. We know that. We can see it. Look at it. Look at the world. I mean, come on. And they take advantage of these theistic beliefs we have. Now, you said Theism and atheism have nothing to do with knowledge. I completely or couldn't disagree anymore because the drive for knowledge has come from belief. I believe I know something. You can say, oh, I know it. It has the, it has the quality of no. It's true. This table is there. That I know it is there. That in itself is only a thought, a belief, attached with another belief of the word no, which is only a subjective word that doesn't exist. You know what I mean? Something tomorrow could come and tell me, you know, I could sleep, fall asleep tonight and this desk could burn and it won't be there tomorrow and, you know, it's no longer there. I, that's not a good example, but, uh, for example, you could take a scientific theory and say, I know this is true today, and tomorrow somebody could say, well, there's this off-the-wall reason why that's actually not true, but it can be very easily perceived as true for this reason. So, n belief has everything to do with knowing something. Um, in essence, I mean, it all depends on the person, what you want to do with your life, how you want to go about it, but that's just how it is, in my books anyways. You do what you do, I'll do what I do. I respect you, hopefully you respect me, hopefully you go and you smile at the person walking down the street and, you know, influence their day, whatever. But ultimately, in a perfect world, we'd all be happy people. Um, and... I I think, in essence, that's kind of what I wanted to say. Uh, yeah. I, I guess I could say something along the lines of maybe everybody already is operating by their true will because ultimately physics can't really be altered, so we are acting and doing exactly as we should. And I'm just, you know, I'm saying exactly what I'm saying now for the very simple fact that uh, I have to because, well, that's what I was destined to do. Um, as I wanted to go really quickly, I've got 40 seconds into that whole sun thing I was doing in my other video. I'm not sure what made you call me a fool, but I think maybe that's what it was. Uh, the sun's photons are what feed the grass and the vegetables and whatnot, and they store it in their, uh, whatever, one of their pieces in their cells. And other animals eat that, then we eat those animals and the plants. Ultimately, the photons reignite and go into our brain. And the energy in our brain is what allows us to think. Therefore, what you think ultimately comes from the sun. So, who knows? There is some kind of objective uh, outer something. I don't know what it is, but I'm guessing. Later.